Today I have Bethany Shadburn here in the kitchen with me. Bethany is a CrossFit Games athlete. That means she lifts a lot of heavy weights, does a lot of fitnessy things, which is really freaking awesome. She is gonna be doing the cooking today. But don't worry, I'm gonna walk her and you through the recipe, like always. This dish is another great example of how simple cooking techniques don't have to equal boring food. Plus, it seems like a more complicated dish than it really is. So you feel like a kitchen rock star when you put it on the table. Let's get cooking. Begin by heating the oven to 425 and lining a baking sheet in foil. Standard roasting protocol. Then you're gonna place the baby broccoli on the foil lined sheet, drizzle with oil, sprinkle with salt. Roast that baby broccoli in the oven for about 15 minutes. You're gonna remove it from the oven when done. But while the baby broccoli is cooking, mix together the apricots, Dijon mustard, white wine vinegar, and olive oil in a pan over medium low flame. Next, heat a little oil and or butter, depending on how your body feels about it, in a pan over another medium low flame. Add the pork tenderloin and brown, taking five to 10 minutes. When the pork is brown, add the sauce and cook for 10 to 15 minutes or until fully cooked through. Use a spoon to coat that pork every so often. After everything has finished cooking, place some pork and baby broccoli on a plate, making sure to spoon some sauce over that pork. Sprinkle with a little salt if needed. Enjoy. Now the nice thing with pork is it can be a little bit pink in the middle. It doesn't have to be 100% fully cooked through because it does have that kind of... It's a little pink. You know, a little pink, that's it's okay. Good. That's still cooked, no worries. Mmm, I like the vinegar. Mm -hmm. The vinegar was really good in that. Mm -hmm. that. Mm. Good job. I'm Thanks. proud. Yum. Yeah.